There were some exciting new products at the ADEX Sim Racing Expo of 2023 that was held in Dortmund, Germany, where I had the chance to test out the new Fanatec Club Sport DD and also talk to the developers of the product. So here is what I found out. I was testing this yesterday and I just it didn't even know that I was testing it. So basically I played eye racing and for example it felt... I haven't played eye racing to be honest in like four years. And I just put my hands on it and it, it kind of worked. So yeah. that's basically the crispness that you were previously talking about. Yeah, exactly. So what we found out, or for us, we found out that in the past you had to look, or look for the yeah what the car is doing on the track. So you're watching the car relatively to the track. Am I breaking out? Am I sliding? on the steering whatever and we also have the feeling that with this base you purely drive on sense and on, on feeling uh, you don't have to be as focused with your eyes anymore so it's more to the hands you feel if the car is loose or not so that's I, I think what you described of there I got into the car and it definitely feel better so it's also the game probably has changed a lot in the last four years okay yeah but yeah that's what we also felt so it's just e it comes more natural with this wheelbase now, and, and this is due to the crispiness especially we are like it's called slew rate so how fast you can go from zero to a, minute, minute, to a couple of newton meters so it's newton meters per millisecond and we really set the new benchmark with this so it's doing 6.2 newton meters per millisecond is the ramp up uh, which is double as the pace or double as fast as the podium to do. So basically, I guess the goal was to not predict what's going to happen, but basically always get that, that direct feedback that is coming from the wheel and always know what's going on. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I think you did a pretty good job. So this comes with the QR2? Exactly. So there is the option that you can uh, exchange the QR2 back to a QR1 in the case you have a lot of wheel uh, steering wheels at home and don't want to upgrade all of them because you're driving all you of them. You got two options, basically. Yes. So we recommend, of course, to change the steering wheels because the QR2 is, is better than the QR1. You don't have to talk around this. Um, but there is the possibility to uh, go back to the QR1. And the nice thing about this is you only have to undo the four screws. So every electronics, all the plastic, everything stays in. So you don't have to exchange connectors or have a USB-C connector or whatever. It's just a metal part which comes off and you exchange it for the QR1. That's basically it. You got four screws yeah, and exactly. you're pretty much done with them. But what about the back? I think it's a little bit bigger. And it's also... So yesterday I tried to wait it. That's it's quite heavy. Yes, ten and a half kilos. Yeah. Our little cannonball. Uh, yeah, in the back. So it's a little longer in the middle section uh, because of there is uh, another row of magnets, which is also a little bit skewed. Feeling of going over bumps, so to speak, is also reduced. We have introduced also a CAN connector, like in the car system. This is the CAN system in a car. Um, this is this connector. So in, at the moment, we don't have any peripherals yet on the market, but in the future, we will always provide a CAN connection into, to our new peripherals, and they will be connected only via one port. We will make it this like in a car, so that you have to connect, for example, handbrake on the wheelbase, your pedals you connect to the handbrake, and something else you connect. Ah, so it's all connected serial. in a circle, basically. It's a serial connection. Exactly. Good point. One cable instead of exactly one connect. Exactly. So this is nothing we are going to eliminate in the next two years. But over the long term, the next five to ten years, we would like to eliminate as much as connectors as possible in the back. So in best case, power can and USB. I mean, very nice. Who thought of this color? Yellow. It's it's our new corporate CI. So we yeah. are going to introduce this yellow. Uh, everywhere now, also in our marketing uh, stuff. And yeah, the yellow color is for the PC and the blue color is uh, the PlayStation version. That's, uh, that's also something that I noticed. I went to the website and only this version was available. So, okay. so do you have the, a release date maybe for... The release date is not completely open yet. It's a bit also due to our supply licenses. But this year we will bring the PlayStation version as well. Okay, so PlayStation version this year and... It's going to have 15 Newton meters instead of 12. Exactly. So, uh, the, all about the pricing, you know? The pricing will be a thousand dollars, uh, euros. Thank you very much. You can buy this at Fanatec websites. Yes. Now, it's pre-ordered, I think, delivery is in November. 7th of November. 7th of November. And we will see if we're going to see any more of yeah. Maybe earlier delivery dates for the for the PlayStation version. Yes, let's see. Well, but we, we 
will promise to deliver this year to the PlayStation 4. And also one thing, how long did it take you to develop something like this? So we took our time on this one. Uh, in total we took four years. Everybody noticed that this was missing in our portfolio. But like I mentioned in the beginning, our CSW 2.5 was the benchmark. And we really wanted to bring something similar to the market. But something also, something new and fresh. Uh. New and fresh, learn from our old mistakes in the DD, uh, DD sections or uh, our experiences. So yeah, we really brought everything together here. Yeah, I mean, what I can... I, I tried it and I think you did a pretty, pretty good job Thank you. With it, so. yeah. yeah, we are all very happy. Yeah, I mean... I think the customers will be as well. So. I hope so. I, I think so, but I also I hope so. Yeah. Okay, what, what can I tell you? Thank you very much for this. Uh, You're welcome. Yeah.